Out of there, pipe smokers, old pipe pops, back at you one more time. Uh, what we got here today is a, a little box opening. I, I uh, needed to restock some of my tobaccos and stuff, so I already opened the box because I figured I wouldn't waste time by just cutting stuff open for you. The first thing I got was a big fistful of Church Warden Link pipe cleaners, which I do go through. And I've been listening to everybody talk about Carter Hall. Now I shopped in every <laughs> every grocery store and drug store and convenience store and everything around this whole little town. And couldn't find anybody carried it. So while I was ordering my other stuff, I ordered some of that Carter Hall. Now I smoked that that Carter Hall. Oh, geez, many many years ago, maybe 40, 50 years ago. And but I don't remember what it tasted like. I'll be honest with you. So I heard all the you know my mug vlog and several others talk about getting some and. That it wasn't a, wasn't a half bad tobacco for a regular all day straight ahead smoke. So I got some to, to try it to just see if I can remember what it was like in the olden days. And then I've been listening to to uh, uh, matches eight six zero and uh, uh, what's the other fellow's name uh, or handle. Uh, in Death We Trust, I guess. And they've been talking about this haunted bookshop. So I ordered some haunted bookshop. I got to see if it's as good as Matches 860 says it is. Uh, then I stocked up on a whole bunch of RLP6. And uh, some big bag of 1Q. Well, while I was on the site at, at uh, pipesandtobacco.com or pipesandcigars.com, I guess, uh, you guys all know me. I'm a, a nutcase for a church warden. So, uh, by the way, I'm smoking uh, this little Nording Sitter semi rusticated. Got some 1Q in it right now. Uh, but anyways, I was doing my shopping, and I just couldn't resist getting myself another church warden. I like those Nordings, and I saw that they had a a new batch of uh, Nording church wardens. This one's also semi-rusticated. So I broke down, <laughs> and I bought it. Now, when my wife finds out, she's probably going to kill me, so this may be my last video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that out of the way, just wanted to say that uh, that last video I made uh, asking about the vinegar smell and odor, some people think ketchup odor, in some of the tobaccos, and, uh, and especially in... Uh, This Capron Cool. Uh, uh, it seems as though uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people have detected that, and uh, the consensus of opinion from the responses I got were that people thought it might be the fermentation of uh, the Virginias, perhaps. Uh, I was hoping that uh, Arjoic or the Chemwiz would come back with a, a little more definitive answer about what it really is. Uh, John Barleycorn says it might be pickle juice. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what it is, uh, but most folks seem to think it's a fermentation. Strikes a couple of us as odd that some of the other similar mixtures and blends 
from uh, other companies uh, don't have that uh, odor uh, with them. So uh, maybe they just don't ferment them. I, I don't know, but I'm not sure we've got the definitive answer yet. But if I get it, I'll sure let you know. So uh, that's about all I got for today. So with that, I'll uh, just leave it at that.